Nashville hot boiled peanuts all done in your Instant Pot. I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I have some green peanuts here, two pounds. Now, it has to be green peanuts. You can't use roasted peanuts. They have to be green. We're going to rinse these, and once we think we have them rinsed really, really good, I mean the best rinse you think you ever had, then rinse them again. All right, so what I mean by one of the things that I like to do when I'm rinsing these is I take them and I kind of do them together like this. And you're in your sink, so if you have some little badgers fall out, that's fine. Just keep going through, kind of scrub them around just like this, rubbing them together. Because, I mean, they obviously, they come out of the ground, so they're really dirty. And you don't want to be getting all that grit in your mouth when you're eating these little bad boys. And you will actually feel the dirt come off on your hands. It feels just like sand. Anyway, we're going to keep doing this. And remember... Once you think you're done, keep doing it. Now that we got our green peanuts rinsed here, we're going to add them to our Instant Pot there. All right, next up, going in some water. You're going to fill your Instant Pot up to the halfway mark. All right, we're at the halfway mark. Okay, next up, one third of salt. And this is Himalayan pink sea, sea salt. You could use kosher salt if that's what you wanted or just probably regular table salt. Just uh, understand I've never done it with regular table salt before. So if you use regular table salt, it could be more or less salty. Probably would be less salty. All right, now we are going to add, all right, I need you guys to pay attention. All right, so this is going to be my Nashville Hot Seasoning here. Hopefully you can see that. It's just a Nashville Hot Dill Seasoning from a local place called The Butcher Shop. Now, if you guys couldn't find this, then you can go on Amazon and get a Nashville Hot Seasoning. Uh, they sell it at Walmart, Amazon. I'll leave links to that. And all you would need to do is just add some dill, fresh dill sprigs to this. But I'll leave a link for the butcher shop as well. I'm not even sure. I'm thinking they'll ship it, but I'm not positive. Anyway, we're going to go in with three tablespoons of the Nashville hot deal. Again, you could even make this a Cajun boiled peanuts, and you would just buy some Cajun seasoning like Tony Shasheries or Bazelles, uh, and just use three tablespoons of that as well. So, And then what we do here now is we're just going to mix this about. And I'm just going to use my handy dandy little spurtle here to mix all this about. Next up, you're going to take your something. If you don't have um, these trivets, you could probably use something else. You just want to set them on top. I want to try to keep these as submerged as much as we can. I mean, it's not going to get them all, but it'll be fine. So now we'll just put the lid on it. All right, we're going to pressure it on high for 65 minutes, and we're going to just do a complete natural release. So set your Instant Pot to pressure cook. Push the button, set your time to 65 minutes, which is an hour and five minutes. Set it to high. And then hit the start button. All right, total cooking time has been two hours and 24 minutes. That's from the time we put it on until the time that I'm doing this right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is, water's a little hot, so. Let's remove these. All right, here we go. All right, you see what I got here? I'm fanning this so it doesn't clog up the lens. But see what we got here? We got these floating. The longer you leave these in the liquid, they will start to sink. So it really just depends. Do you like a firm uh, boiled peanut or do you like soft peanut? What I normally do is I will take these and just let them cool to room temperature and then I will stick them in my refrigerator overnight. And usually within 24 hours, they are about to the level of tenderness that I like and what happens also is this uh, juice and whatnot those peanuts will actually suck that in 
Uh, so anyway, we're gonna give these a little sample here real quick and uh, see how we did, see what the flavor's like. All right, let's give these little badgers a sample. Mm. Oh yeah, nice and spicy. Tomorrow they'll be even juicier, but let me show you. Just so you can see how tender they are. All right guys, Nashville hot boiled peanuts, all done in your Instant Pot. Do it. Man, that's good. You Nashville hot everything.